In this video, I'm going to find some derivatives using um, the power rule and some of the other basic derivative rules. So here's our first problem, just a polynomial function. And so the derivative of y, y prime, we want to take the derivative of each term, term by term. So the derivative of negative 9x cubed using the power rule, we bring the 3 down, multiply it to the negative 9, we get negative 27x to the n minus 1 power, so 3 minus 1 would be 2. In the second term, we bring the exponent 2 down, multiply it to the 4, and we get 8 times x to the first power, minus 8 times x, Anytime you have a constant times the variable, it will end up just being 8. And that, again, is because of the power rule. And, of course, the derivative of a constant is 0. And so that would be our final answer. Now, this uses all um, an assortment of the basic derivative rules, the sum and difference rule, the constant multiple rule, the derivative of a constant rule, and the power rule. But... Uh, many of those rules we just use intuitively. We don't really think about, hey, this is a special rule. We just do it. Okay, the next problem, a little bit more complicated because we have fractions in here, but nothing we can't handle. So, again, we want to go term by term. So the first term is negative one-half x cubed. And so the derivative of that is going to be we take the exponent 3, multiply it by negative 1 half, that would be negative 3 halves, times x to the n minus 1 power. And then the 2 thirds x squared, bring the 2 down, multiply it times 2 thirds, and we get 4 thirds times x to the n minus 1 power. And then again, a constant times the variable just becomes the constant and then the derivative of the constant is zero. So again, that one wasn't too difficult. The next problem is gonna require us to do a little bit more work because we have to rewrite this and we have radicals. So to find the derivative, the first thing that we want to do is I'm gonna do this step by step. So I'm gonna rewrite the square root of x in the denominator as x to the one-half power minus 5 over, now the cube root of x would be x to the one-third power, and then over here we have 3 times x to the x squared to the one-half power, that just becomes x. All right, next thing I want to do is I want to bring the variables from the denominator up to the numerator. So, the 3 stays in the numerator, and x becomes negative 1 half over 7, minus 5 stays in the numerator, x to the negative 1 third. And again, we're using exponent rules here. When you move um, a variable from the denominator to the numerator, or vice versa, you change the sign of the exponent, plus the 3x. Well, now we have it in a form where we can actually take the derivative. So all of this has just been algebraic rewriting. Now we're going to take the derivative of this term. So negative one-half times the three-sevenths is going to be end up being uh, y prime is negative three-fourteenths x. Now negative one-half minus 1 is minus 2 halves, so that would be minus 3 halves. Then we want to take the minus 3, negative minus neg 1 third times the negative 5. That will end up being a positive 5 thirds x to the, now negative 1 third minus 1, Always think of 1 in terms of the denominator of whatever this fraction is. So 1 is 3 thirds. So negative 1 third minus 3 thirds is a minus 4 thirds. And then, of course, the derivative of 3x is just 3. Well, we are not done yet. We've got the derivative done. So this is the derivative. 
boom, there's the derivative. But we want to simplify this. So I'm going to do it in two steps. Y prime is negative 3 over 14. And I'm going to take this x to the negative 3 halves and put it in the denominator and make it positive 3 halves. 5 and 3 is in the denominator. Take the x to the negative 4 thirds and make it positive in the denominator plus the 3. And then finally, we want to change into radical form. So negative 3 over 14. And so x to the 3 halves, remember the numerator, the 3 is the power, the 2 is the root. So this would be the square root of x cubed plus 5 over 3. Now we're going to have the cube root of x to the fourth plus 3. All righty. And that is that. Um, let's just do one more. Let me just make one up here. So we have f of x is equal to negative 3x to the negative 1 half plus 2 square root of x minus or plus 4 over the square root of x. So the first term really doesn't need any rewriting. We just take the negative 1 half times the 3, and we get 3 halves times x. Negative 1 half minus 2 halves would be minus 3 halves. And let's rewrite this. 2 times x to the 1 half. And this, of course, would be plus 4 times x to the negative 1 half. And so finishing up the derivative... The derivative of 2x to the 1 half would be, now the 1 half times 2 is 1, so we end up with x to the 1 half minus 1 would be negative 1 half. And then 4 times a negative 1 half over here would be a negative 2x to the negative 1 half minus 1 is minus 3 halves. And now let's get rid of all of the negative exponents. So to get rid of the negative exponents, 3 over 2x to the positive 3 halves plus 1 over x to the positive 1 half minus 2 over x to the positive 3 halves. And now let's turn all of those fractional exponents into radicals. This would be 3 over 2 times the square root of x cubed plus 1 over the square root of x minus 2 over the square root of x cubed. And that would be our derivative. Oh, that should be a f prime of x. All right, I hope this was helpful.